Okay, check, check, check. I'm going to see if uh, this is working. I'm going to try to create a route real quick. Uh, a couple of things I have. Um, my scroll wheel is uh, set up. I think there are preferences that you can tweak to change the scroll wheel setting. But anyway, so option down zooms out, option up zooms in. That's pretty important to be able to have. And then also, let me just check here. Make sure this is going to. Seems like I'm going to have to work this out. So anyway, so can I get the mouse right here? Okay. Okay. Should be right. Uh, let's come back over here. And then the other thing is I have my left and right arrows set up, up and down. That way you can move around and navigate a little bit while you're creating your route. So let's come over here and find out where I'm at. Where's all the route? Um, right, so I'm finished out. All right, boom. And uh, let's see, where did I go? <laughs> I'm lost. There we go. There's me. All right, so let's say I'm going to do a route here. I've got my details set up. I could go one notch higher, which um, will end up adding all the icons in. Actually, I had taken it down to there, but then when I kicked it back up, that's interesting. The icons go away, but if I come here, the icons are there, and I come down. Oh, no, app has shut off. Okay, we're in bad mode. Let this app assume. So anyway, let's come here to, there we go. So let's say that I know I'm going to start here at this gas station, right? This is what you want. Come up here and grab this. You can just drag that, touch to that thing there. See, I touched that, and now um, it used that as my start point. But here's the thing. So you can move this around to get it out of your way and still be working in your route as long as you have your route tool going. Uh, the main thing is at some point you're going to want to stop the route tool, so then you'll just go back to the hand icon. So I'm going to zoom out, and I'm just going to start. Well, I'm going to scroll. And I can't get my keys, so there we are. Let's say. So let's just say I want to start doing this. All right. So, ha, typical Garmin shit. All right. See this mess? Okay. The problem is because I have it set for off-roading. So I'm going to come over here, and I usually use motorcycling shortest. All right, so once you do that, you can also hit this button and that'll recalculate for you if it didn't recalculate on its own. So now, I think it's telling me that I can't use my arrows because this thing is in the way. So let me just move that to another screen. So if I'm if I'm thinking uh, why it won't let me use my arrow keys, I feel like it normally will. It could be because of the way it's recording. Hmm. Let's see what you're saying. Because that's gonna make a big difference in how it works for me. Uh, but basically, I can show you the concept here. So I'm going to come here. I usually try to drop a waypoint kind of after every road where, the, where it's changing. Oh, there it goes. Now it's letting me do it. So there I just use my keys to scroll over, scroll up, scroll down. I use option to shrink in and out. So let's come here and say, oh, yeah, I know I want to go down this road there. So I'll just drop another one, zoom out. Uh, let's come over here. Let's say I want to take this road. That come on over here, pan over. This looks good. 38. Take that. Now, if for some reason, let's say, let me just try to give it something hard to work on. Let's say that I accidentally hit the wrong thing, right? It's not gonna work out that way. Um, let me grab somewhere that's gonna confuse it. Oh, let's say if I go something like up over here, right? Okay. So let's say 
<coughs> I wanted to go this direction around to that point, but it sent me underneath. Just undo. And then you're back at this other point, and then just keep kind of working your way toward it. So let's say that I am trying to go this way. I know I definitely want to go this direction. So that's the thing. Like if you accidentally or if you try somewhere and it freaks out, it's like, how to get okay C oops. there so that's a good example see it'll freak out and kind of go oh well I'm not going to take you around to the west I'm going to double back take you to the east that's not what I want just undo it and then just keep dropping more points and then just using the keys to pan over uh, this looks good so this is what I'm trying to do so let's see that's 75 let's drop that Okay, so there's my route so far. Let's just stop there. Um, now, if I keep clicking, I can't move around and do stuff because it's going to mess it up. Let's pull it back out a little bit. But if you just come up here, you do that, and now you'll see that you have, uh, you've created a route, and there's your generic name. So I always rename it. I try to get some kind of consistency. So I look here, my distance is about 29 miles. So I'm going to say that's 29 miles. You know, is it big bike friendly? Is it small bike friendly? You know, um, this one's kind of generic. I'm not going to worry about it. I usually like to say where I start from, Mina to, let's just say 259. Put the date on, do whatever I want, but that's pretty much how I lay this out. So there you go. Now I can come here and create a track from the route. Boom. And there you go. There's your track. Come down here. Let's say I'm going to change my color to blue or something like that. And you can also, if say that um, something is off here, you can go through. Let me check this out. You'll see it'll put a little circle around where you're at, right? So then if you use the down arrow keys when you have this highlighted, it will take you through the track points just like that. So if you come to some place where there's a problem in this track or say you want to, let's say you want to go somewhere that it wouldn't let you route down. Um, I don't really see any dirt roads, but a lot of times it won't let you route down just say a trail. Or an ATV road. Well, I can come here and just pull this point down to there, and there it goes. Created that track. If I want to make it a little prettier, I just kind of <coughs> take and do something like that. Let's say that, oh, I know I want to come this way along the river. Oh, well, this one's in my point. I'm trying to go this way along the river. Well, what I need to do is find this. Oh, come back. Highlight that. Need to come back and see where I was at. Let's see, okay, so it's farther back, it's farther back, making my way back. Actually, there is a way. I think there's a way to say that. Now I can't split the track. Sometimes I do that, but let's just do five by ten. So yeah, I often have a hard time getting it back to the exact one I want. So there we go. Now I'm getting close. Oh, that's the one I want to keep. That I want to keep. That I want to keep. That's the one I want to delete. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to delete this. Oops, I missed one. Delete, 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 delete. And now I've taken these track points, and now I can easily come over and say, this is actually where I'm trying to go. And if I want, I can move that track point over to there. Nope, that didn't work. Because I've gone the route, seen the route. Sometimes I will say that it's easier. Let's say this is a good example. So I've got this route here, and, and you can see there I was trying to edit it, but it actually was causing a problem because it's not sure whether I'm trying to edit the route or the, the track. So what I will do is I'll come up here and I'll say new list. track on. So now I come back to here. I'm going to copy this track. I'm going to come back there. Oops, didn't do it. Copy the track. Copy that track. 
over here. Okay, there we go. So now, this is another good example of how this is the main thing that'll screw you up with Carl. So, there's my track. So now you can see that I can edit this. It's a lot easier. I'm gonna open back up to where I was with my list of stuff. And again, I only do this with tracks. I always create from routes because routes give you these nice lines that follow the roads. Tracks, once you start doing it, are just a total mess. So if I come here, oh, there, I'm past it. There we go. So I just want to clean that one up right there. I'm going to delete, 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 delete. Oh, there we go. Right. Undo. And there we go. So I've tweaked that route. I've changed that route into a track. Then I edited it. I modified that track to go where the route wouldn't go. Because the route is not going to take you up this river. But if I know that, hey, that's where I actually want to ride, then there you go. Uh, so now here's the thing. Take a look. So I had this tutorial one going. This shows the route that I created and the track of it, right? And since I copied it and pasted, you can, I'm jumping through these to just see, you're seeing that it's the same. So when you edit one, when you copy and paste, when you edit one, you edit both. It's basically um, making like a, a like an alias of it, but it's not an alias you can modify. So what you need to do is let's say that I want to keep this one now as like, oh yeah, that's really, that's the track I want, but I'm going to try something else or whatever. So you need to come to this and you'll want to duplicate. Now you have this edit. So let's just get rid of this one now. And this one, let's just say it's right over here in this. You can keep it as that or whatever, but let's just say you're going to do this. And now I can come up and Let's kind of just head up to this pretty tree. So now you can come and look and see that there's the old track stays the same. You can see 59 stays the same. But as long as you've duplicated something, you can um, modify it. So here's the th modify it without affecting the previous one. So the main thing is on a Mac, you use option drag. Um, or option copy creates a duplicate, but in Basecamp it does not. So that's the main thing that screwed me up for a long time. I couldn't figure out what the hell's going on, but that's it. So basically, um, if you copy and paste, just remember, duplicate first, then copy that one and paste it. That's the way to do it if you're really trying to get to where you can edit stuff. Uh, as far as dropping a waypoint, let's just say that there's this tree here. I'm going to come over here, grab my icon to drop a waypoint. Uh, over. Oh. There we go. So I've dropped a waypoint. Uh, I'm going to choose my icon, say, hey, this might be a good place to camp. Uh, there we go. And that saves it. Uh, let's see. Iron Mountain Camping, whatever. So there you go. Now, I just need to remember to get back to the tool. And if you want to see it without so much clutter, you know, just take some of your details down. All right, so the other thing is now I want to share this with people. I can either come and share, export the... Um, tutorial track only, which is basically saying this, this list. So I'm going to export this list, or I can export just the selected data. So right now I have just this waypoint selected. So if I just wanted to share my waypoints, then I could do that. That way, if I want to share everything in that list, I would do this. So a lot of times you'll see if I'm working on something, let's just come here and say, you know, I might have ideas going or planning. 
but you'll see sometimes I will have let's just move to this so it just goes into the mass like all right so let's say you've worked on something like this tons of tracks these are all your waypoints just tons of everything so you know just it gets to be too much if you're trying to edit these oops let's get that if you're trying to um, If you're trying to edit this, if you want to work on one of these tracks, and you have all these waypoints in there, it's too it's too much of a mess. So what you need to do is you go and just select the tracks only. Let's say I'm just want to work on let's see, let's see where these tracks are lighted up. There we go. Let's say I just want to work on this track. Well then just come here and now I am going to copy that track. I come here, I paste them in, and now I've got a, a, a separate list that's tracks only. Now I can totally mess with these tracks and I don't have all the waypoints in there. I can pull out what, you know, these are the tracks we actually rode. And uh, same thing, I've got the, typically the way I do it, the ride, the mileage, or the, or the ride, the year, the mileage, where I started, where I ended, the date. This is how I label actual stuff, but um, that'll give you an idea. Okay, there you go. That's pretty much it. That's most of the stuff I use. Uh, you know, occasionally I'll use this ruler if I just want to see uh, how far is it to there. You know, sometimes I use that tool. I don't ever have to use this, but you can if you want. I mean, you just kind of drag and see what you got going on there. Oh, I'm just copying it in. All right. And then sometimes you'll get routes like this. That's like a mess. Everything's going everywhere. Before I give a track to somebody, I would go through and just kind of delete these points, clean all this stuff up, and then that way, when you give somebody something, it's, you know, they, they're not having to stop and go, oh, wait, oh, am I supposed to go down this road? Well, the, the problem is when you're, if you're zoomed too far out and you're kind of creating a route, sometimes you'll miss this line and it'll send you up a driveway or whatever it is, right? So go through and just kind of check your points and clean it all up and there you go rock and roll